So the two people who started the charity, one who later became our first chairman, felt that uh, when they were thinking about volunteering, there didn't seem to be, uh, there were new, there were new there were opportunities from the very large charities, such as Jewish Care or maybe Norwood and, even, and CST, but they knew there was something else they could do. So when one of them was uh, Dr. Judy Citroen, unfortunately passed away a little while ago, she was sitting on the switchboard for the help desk at the Board of Deputies and somebody said to her, um, where can I volunteer? And she said, oh, I, let me have a look at the lists. Well, there didn't seem to be any list. So she said, well, I, I know you can get volunteering in Jewish care and I do volunteering in Jewish care. And the woman said to her and she said to herself, but I don't want, I do that already. I'm already going there every other week to see a parent or something and I help them out there. There must be some other opportunities out in the wider Jewish community and across London, etc., that we can think about and we could get involved with. And that's how it started. So she came together with Susan Winton and the two of them thought that uh, we should really look at the smaller and medium-sized charities who may also want to have people volunteering for them. I was taken on before it became a charity by the founding mothers of the charity. And uh, this is just about 11 and a bit years ago. So I was at that time working with the, the immediate um, or the previous ch uh, chief rabbi, Lord John Sachs. I was a project director there and, I, and Judy, Dr. Judy Citron was engaged a little bit in some of the activities I was working on within the United Synagogue developing community stuff. And uh, she said to me that she and her friend, Susan, were thinking about a new charity and they'd like my opinion on it. And at the time, I remember we were sitting in Orleans in uh, Finch, it's not even there anymore, and uh, that I said, well, aren't there lots of charities doing volunteering? Surely you're not going to have another one. You know, they said, well, they want one to act as a big conduit for all the charities. I said, well, that's interesting, that's ambitious. And then they said, might you like to take it up? So the rest is history. And you couldn't say no, right? I couldn't say no. It's been a problem in my life, I can't say no. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.